hi friends uh, welcome back to my channel again so in this video we would be discussing about three topics in the salesforce first thing is salesforce objects how we can create an object and how we can give permissions to the users for a specific object and how to create a fields inside the object i will show one or two fields but going forward we will discuss more on custom fields and etc and second thing is how to create a profile and how to assign permissions to a profile and third thing how to create a permission set and how we can assign users to that permission set so uh, let's jump into the video friends so basically as soon as you open your browser just go to your hands on org where your salesforce instances would be there now what I can do here is I will try to rename this one Salesforce Playground. I will mark it as uh, what we would say access related org. Here we will learn few things. Okay. Um, okay so let me click on here launch so once i click on launch we would be uh, going to our instance so once we get into the instance so we have seen being a salesforce admin or developer we will live in this place in the setup now i will show you how to create an object you know salesforce is customizable that is the reason why salesforce is very popular and then you can customize it as per your requirement so all these are called standard objects okay meaning the salesforce instance will give you defaultly these things so standard objects we cannot edit all the objects there are certain limitations so for that reason we will be creating some custom objects we can use it any way as we like it and just click on create here and click on custom object you can also bulkly create custom objects using a spreadsheet for now we will go with custom object i clicked on custom object now it will ask me all these details so i will type something called test object and test objects this would be the object api name so in salesforce what happens is uh, field name and field label will uh, are very important when we work on some integrations or doing some data upload we should uh, use object api names or field api names now it is done and what would be the record name should appear test object name or let's say test object number number would be fine auto number or else le let me leave it as it is test object name and we should be writing the name so if the object should need reports you need to click on all our reports all our activities track field history allow in chatter groups and enable licensing is I don't think this is necessary then we will leave it and next object classification all of sharing all of bulk api access all of streaming api access we will uh, mark everything and we, we, we can click on all of search now the interesting part comes here if we can add the notes and attachments to the uh, related list you can click on this so that you can add any pdfs or images whatever you name it and let's say if you did not mark it as launch new custom tab wizard then the object shouldn't appear to anyone even if you search it won't make sense so i recommend you whenever you create an object just make sure you click on this one if not it can seriously impact you i mean you need to invest a lot of time to fix it again so just click on save you can uncheck it but if there is a specific reason you can do it but the best practice is just click on here and now let me click on save
so once you click on save this is the test object name and you need to select any of the here i am going to select computer as this so this is our test object here you can add some uh, what we say different page link if a user is searching for new one but for now we did not created anything so uh, you can write a description called this is a test object to learn and then click on next once you click on next here is the interesting part comes into the picture so if you want this object to visible to all the profiles this should mark as default on if you want no one to see this then you need to click on default off if you want this tab should not appear you can click on tab hidden we'll go with default on for now but let's say if a different profile needs different visibility like let's say i want this object to appear to only salesforce systems admin you need to click on default on for this and let's say tab hidden you click on it and then you need to click on default on so in this way for a different profile you can select different tab visibilities for now let us click on default on which would be recommended until and unless uh, it needs to follow some security practices just click on next so these are called apps so um, the tab that we have created right now called test object so if you want that object to be added to any of these apps or not is is the point here so if you want to add this app to platform sales service and everything then uh, you need to click on everywhere if not you can individually select this uh, object should be up here for only sales or only analytics or else if, if, if it is for all you can add it and uh, if you check it this tab will appear directly if you do not check then you need to manually add meaning uh, these are the tabs like this welcome is a tab install a packages tab uh, get your login credentials all these are called tabs so this is how it is and click on save so once you click on save it is showing that you are test object is created then let's see how it looks uh, I need to refresh it then only the test object will appear for us so test objects so let's say I have shown you a point called launch uh, launch tab so if you are not if you did not have checked it you won't be seeing this object here so let me create a new one so when I click on new, it will ask me to enter the name. The test object name is, it is also test. Just click on save here. So this is an object. And this is related list. If you remember, I have checked it so that I can upload files or images, whatever it is. And activity is this. I have enabled activity and chatter here. So with that, you can write anything like a new event new task what are your tasks for the day new contact new email everything you can you can use it in this way and just click on details for now so this is how you can create a field i mean sorry object now let me add one more thing called a field so we have created an object so if you remember basically an object is a table so we have created a table called test object and these three are default i mean these four are default and these are called standard fields and this object itself is a custom object and now what we would be doing is we will create another test field here test field so that how uh, so that i will show you how it can be added for now let's clear this uh, thing and uh, okay now click on here new when i click on new it will create it will ask me to add what kind of field like all these are called data types 
in every programming language we would be having right in the same way these are this so let me create a text field for now click on next when i click on next the field label would be like notes length would be around 255 characters or more you can write click on next so once i click on next so here these are field level uh, access so far we will discuss more on the field level access in the next units now just clear, let me click on next and it is going to add to the test object layout let me click on save here so this is how it shows test object name and notes is a custom object the way you you can find out what is custom and what is standard is whenever you say you see this part like underscore underscore c then this is a custom whether it is an object or whether it is a field uh, it is it is how it is and now let me click on here just i would be refreshing it so if you see we would be seeing uh notes i don't know why we are unable to see but it should see us let me create new test object here um why it is okay the reason why we are unable to see is we need to refresh the page okay why it is not appearing here we have added the page field to the page layout test objects and it should show here but i don't know why it is not showing up but let me click on here again let me create a new one it would be test to save but it is still not appearing why it is not appearing it is just a test object name okay um let me click on here and let's say it is required now let me click on save but let me click on here again to show us the field but it is not appearing i don't know why edit okay if you see i was able to see notes here let me click on save it should show here but when i click on edit only it is appearing so what we can do here is let me click on here field sets new test something save select fields to display notes save so we were able to see this notes field and data but i don't know why we are unable to see on the record level but we will uh, work on it in the next going things but for now our concept is to learn how we can create the profiles let me click on this again and now let's create a profile so just search for profiles so basically what is a profile a profile is just you know an access level body to define which object a user can see and which object a user unable to see or cannot see so to define that we will create a profile for now let me click on new profile so i would be selecting custom sales profile for now and the profile name would be sales test profile
or else I think I can add system administrator here admin test profile so if I clone admin test profile all the admin related access would come to the picture so that is the reason I have selected so when I click on admin test profile I can see what kind of apps he or she can see like visible or not and what kind of tabs he or she can see and what kind of record types a user can see and what kind of objects a user can see if you see all or with view all modify all but if I select other profile it wouldn't be the case it would be different so that is the reason why I have selected a uh, systems admin for now and let's say uh, if I want to assign this profile to a user then what I need to do is I would be clicking on view users and when I click on view users on this page you can create view and manage users to get more licenses use your account so I will show you another way to create add this permission set to user uh, sorry profile to this user so let me click on here let me go to users and let me click on this one which is mine okay click on cancel for now let's create a new user the new user would be viewer uh, 4 here it should be around 3 because it won't take the duplicate users right so salesforce license is needed and uh, we have clicked admin test profile so this is also similar to admin now role you can choose anyone role is like hierarchy based one just click on save so this user would be an admin uh, I mean admin clone profile so in this way you can create a profile and assign a profile and you can define what kind of objects that profile can see uh, and also the one more thing you can do is you can edit the you know you can edit you can edit what kind of things a user can see or not with that profile so this is how it looks so this is basically what is called a profile how to create it how to assign users and uh, this is how it goes and you can also delete the users now when you click on view users it will show you which user is assigned to this uh, profile so this is how it looks, friends and uh, the next part we would be discussing is permission set so when i talk about permission sets so uh, let's say i will give you an example so let's say if you are with that uh, sales profile so you should be having access to accounts and opportunities but for some reason you need access to cases object so your profile is sales profile and by default you would be having access to only these two objects i mean these objects accounts and opportunities but not cases so if you need some expandable access to the cases whether it is read write or view then we should be creating a permission set and adding that permission set to the uh, sales profile the user under sales profile which would be p1 so if you do in this way then you can see the cases so for now uh, let's clear this out and let's create a permission set so for now what i would be doing is let me click on new and create a permission set test permission set for cases this is also cases okay now if you want to add a license you can add it if not just leave it none is the recommended option just click on save 
So when you click on save, so now you want to give access to objects or apps or anything, right? So we will go with the objects for now. Let me click on object settings and which object we are going to talk. We are going to talk about cases object. So what you can do here is click on here and cases. So tab should be available. Let me click on edit. And tab should be available here. And what are the fields you want to provide read access and what are the fields that you want to provide edit access or in the object level, what kind of access you want to provide. And I will tell you one thing here when you are providing the access, there is something called organization wide defaults. So organization wide defaults or any sharing settings. Permission sets have potential to override every setting in the Salesforce org. Just remember this point. Maybe this can be asked in interview as well. So permission sets are the highest level when providing the access. Now what's hap what will happen is now let's say you are go going to give read credit uh, read create edit permissions and view all so that the user can see all the cases and uh, what kind of fields if you want to give all the edit access he or she can access i mean uh, edit everything on the case object i mean all the records just click on save so here what will happen is if you want to as a user we have created successfully created a permission set called test permission set for cases now you can click on manage assignments and you can add a user here just click on add assignment and i want this to be for chatter expert this guy and surya prod and for this admin test profile okay now just click on next so this is added to these people so if you want this permission set to be uh, you know deleted for this users i mean remove for this users you can uh, select a specific date let me select for one day after one day this will expire okay this is not something recommended but i am doing just for you know just to explore the options one assignment status failed can't as any permission set test user for cases to chatter expert so basically for chatter profiles you cannot assign a permission set so that is what it is saying okay it is okay it's done and it will expire maybe on uh next two days now let me click on uh let me click on here let me refresh this If you see a permission set has been added test permission set for cases. So let's say if this guy is a sales profile, he can have access to all of the fields. So this is what it does. And you can also add permission sets from profile also. Like let's say test permission set or else I have removed it right here. Let me click on different adding different uh, permission sets just added here and now this is the one right let me refresh this let me save it okay uh, i have removed and i have added a different permission set called salesforce console user here we would we had two users right let me refresh that one so when i refresh one user gone away meaning i have removed a permission set to this user right so these are the two ways where you can assign a permission set and remove the permission set one on the permission set level and another one on the profile level so we have discussed three concepts here how to create a custom object and how to create a profile and how to create a permission set and assign them and the users of them. 
so that's it for this video friends uh, in my next video i would be discussing the further concepts until then keep watching my videos and do not forget to subscribe my channel for more future videos thank you and have a great day